Hey guys, try again Bragg here for another exciting installment of Let's Play Sarge's Heroes. Army Man Sarge's Heroes. Uh, I failed that. Alright, so in the last episode, we got into this base. In this episode, we're gonna kill everybody in it. So let's get started on the Tan Genocide, shall we? I'm just kidding. Genocide is not good. Finally, it's a loaded guy. That took a long time. Alright, so, there are a whole bunch of different guys in here. We wanted to kill them. There's also, you noticed in the last episode that I killed one of the guys in the towers. There's another guy in this tower as well that we also want to kill. Because he also has a sniper rifle, which is a pain in the ass to have to fight against. Alright, so let's see if I can do this. Ah! Charge works. I'm not going to take that health crate because we don't need it. We are getting just unbelievably large amounts of sniper ammo here. Got you. Alright. I'm just going to keep the sniper rifle out because in the next... So, the next compound is going to contain yet another tank and a couple of guys. The compound after that, we're going to start being timed. We have, I believe, a minute after that to save Riff from being tied to a firecracker. <laughs> I mean, really, that's like... In, in this kind of a level, like, j er, just this kind of scale, that's the most ridiculously messy kind of an execution that you could ever possibly use. Whoa! Where did that come from? That came from there. Ah, that tower. Stop that! You die! Ah! Tank, 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 tank. Hide, 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 hide. Alright, we're gonna pull up the grenade launcher. Come on. I know, I know, I don't have enough. But, I do have more hand grenades. Which I'm going to throw short. But, that doesn't really matter here, does it? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> got you! You're not so tough. Good to go. Except for all of the high explosive anti material shells. I made a joke it's I, I made a joke about that with my friend once. I was talking about like the depleted uranium anti armor slugs or like uh shots that they use in tanks now. And I called it just the anti-existence rifle. Because anything that you point that at and fire at is going to die. Just. Period. Alright. Two prisoners compound. When we open this, we're going to be confronted by a lot of guys with machine guns and sniper rifles, and we're also going to be timed because the fuse will be lit on that firecracker. So, we're going to time this real carefully. Alright. And... Go. Move, move, move. Go. Start shooting, start shooting, start shooting. Go. Go. I don't know where that's coming from. I only know that it cannot be good. Shoot! There we go. All right, we got to save him. Save, 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 save. Gotcha. Sarge, man, what took you so long? I stopped to pick daisies by the latrine. What do you think? Let's hightail it out of here. I'm with you, man. I'm just itching to lay down some bazooka blues on these tan turkeys. Riff is black. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean that to sound in any way like a racist comment or anything, but given how they made that, you know, accent to be out, um, that, that kind of, you know, like, slightly modified dialect, it, it's obvious that they're trying to make him appear black. Alright. You'll notice that firecracker still continues to count down and will explode if you don't get the hell out of there. So, we moved out of the way, but now they left a whole lot of weapons scattered around here. In this level, you will get more bazooka rounds than you will get in any other. So, allow me to prove my point. There's one floating there. There's another two. There's another 
another three. Why did that just bounce off? I don't know, and I'm not sure I care. Jump. What? Come on! Stop that. Hand it over. Thank you. Alright. Back up. Riff. That is not the best direction that you could be facing. More bazooka! They just... They handed out at every single possible junction. So, we are actually... We have enough that we are going to use it for every single shot now. Just because there's so much of it. Alright, so, this is the main gate, which is where we want to go. Be careful, because Rift can die, and if Rift dies... approaching us. And you... You flew backwards! Alright, let's run. This is why you wanted to kill as many guys as you could beforehand. Yeah, you're dead. I need health. There's some health. There it is. God, the Tan Army is just... incompetent! Really, you would think there would be a specific medical depot and that it would be reasonably well guarded so that Sarge could not just go, Oh, I took a bazooka round to the face, but I'm not quite dead. Let's go heal up. Okay, I can kill more of you now. It's just... The Tan Army is just full of idiots. Continue and we're gonna look at the next cutscene. I think there's a cutscene. Yes. The Green Nation will fight on to defeat Plastro and his super weapons. And cut. That's a wrap. This is the introduction of the character of Vicky. Off the record, any idea where Plastro is getting these super weapons? You know that's classified information, Vicky. Reporting as ordered, sir. Uh, hello, Hickey. Hi, Sarge. Uh, I think we're done, Vicky, but the Tan forces are closing in. Don't leave the compound. I don't want you in any danger. 
Why would she in the first place? Oh, Daddy, I can take care of myself. Buster is transporting uh, hundreds of weapons through a dimensional portal for a massive attack against us. Dimensional portal? Uh oh, he's eavesdropping. Then we got to locate the portals and destroy them. We've located one of them near an enemy camp. The same camp where they're holding your machine gun, a thick. And Hoover, your minesweeper. The camp is located in the middle of the Black Forest. Find it and then rescue Hoover and Thick. They still don't explain how they know where all of these guys are. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. In the next episode, we will get through this next mission, which is Forest. See you guys then.